article databases is a great way to do research, but like any new experience, it can be intimidating and confusing at first. By learning a few simple tips and search strategies, you can be a capable searcher in no time. That's easy for you to say, you're a librarian. What if I don't even know what a database is? No worries, if you've ever searched Facebook for your friends, or typed a search in Google, you've used the basics of database and keyword searching. Okay, well that doesn't sound so hard. So what database is this? For this tutorial, we'll be using the EBSCOhost database Academic Search Premier. This is a general subject database that can be a great place to start your research. The researching tips and tricks that you learn in this database will apply directly to other EBSCO databases, and they're often similar to databases by other vendors. So, this will be almost identical to other databases on EBSCO interfaces, like Business Source Premier and CINAHL and Professional Development Collection, and I can apply these general search strategies to databases in other interfaces. That's really great! That's right! Let's get started! To begin a search, type a word or subject into the open search box. What does that select a field mean in the other box? Good question! If you left that box alone and just hit search, the database will search the entire full text or citation of each record in the database for the word or subject you just entered into the search box to the left. However, if you click on the drop down arrow, you'll notice that there are many choices. If you pick one of these choices, it will narrow the search to just the area of the record. I really like the title field option because it will look for your keywords in the title of articles, which produces a really specific result. Whoa, hold up a minute. Let me get this straight. So let's say I'm doing a research paper on children's poetry. I typed children's poetry and found 2,700 results. What if I do the same search and select the title field? That's just going to search the words in the title, and now I only get 99 results. I get a much more manageable list, and they seem a lot more relevant. Exactly! And you can do the same with other field selectors. Another good one to use is subject terms, because this one will then search only in a small section of the article citation where EBSCO librarians have categorized every article. Choosing subject terms will produce a smaller number of articles, but likely a more accurate list. Other choices include author, if you already know the name of the author whose work you would like to find, or journal name, if you're only interested in articles published in a specific journal or magazine. You know, I've tried searching databases before, and it always seems like I'm getting thousands of results, or nothing at all. It's so frustrating. It happens to all of us, even librarians, and we went to school for this kind of thing. Oftentimes, the first search terms you enter will not give you the perfect results list. You may want to make your search a bit more specific to your needs. Try using the AND, OR, or NOT functions. Back up the search boxes. You can narrow your results by using AND. This will produce only citations that include both criteria. For example, if you want to find articles about children's poetry, you can search poetry and children. This will produce a list of which every article mentions both poetry and children, which makes it more likely that the article is actually about children's poetry. Okay, so if I want to get less results, I can use AND and add more terms to make my search more specific. But what if I want more results because I'm not getting enough? If you aren't getting enough results, you could try using the OR function. Using the example of children's poetry, you could type in children or poetry. Now the results will show articles that mention only poetry, articles that mention only children, and articles that mention poetry and mention children. The NOT function is used when you want to include a certain term or subject from your list. For example, if you are looking for articles about poetry but are not interested in articles about children's poetry, you could search poetry NOT children. This will search the database for all articles that mention poetry and then exclude any articles that also mention children. Oh, it sounds like using the AND, OR, and NOT in combination with the select a field options can help me produce a more accurate search result.
Okay, I think I can do this. It wasn't as bad as I thought. Now, I don't suppose you have a tutorial that actually writes the papers for students, do you? Nice try. But at least the with the research underway, you're halfway there. If you want to learn even more about database searching, please continue on to part two of this tutorial where we'll learn how to navigate our search results list and cite the articles you find.